Encouraging to see what you guys put out there in the first half today. And, you know, talk about seeing how the the new guy, especially Magnus, so uh, really put it together for you guys. Yeah, absolutely. I thought it was uh, you know great start. I thought we executed the game plan and uh, some that uh, our coaching staff might have done a great job of trying to implement with us. And um, you know, I thought it kind of came to fruition today. It was uh, fun to see. You know, it was. Uh, Compact, uh, you know, we were able to press the ball and win in good areas and then uh, kind of be able to express ourselves and play from there. And so that's kind of uh, been our game plan. Chris, what's it like, you know, looking to your left, you got Waco, right, you got Magnus, and then Danny up top. It seems like the fluidity is, you know, well, in fact, I know it's only preseason, but, you know, you guys looked really effective uh, the first 45 minutes. You know, what, what's it like being a part of this, uh, you know, new new strategy, new methodology of that? Sorry, it's implementing. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Um, to be honest, you know, I, the key additions, uh, Magnus is amazing. It brings such quality. And like you mentioned, you know, Danny and uh, Vato, it's uh, it's fun. And I think that something you mentioned is the fluidity. I think that as for trying to interchange and make it difficult for the defenses to handle that, and you know, whether it's over the side or however, you know, stretching the defense, um, I love that. And I think that's many, uh, you know, kind of our game plan right now and again kind of be able to express ourselves in that final third and when you're able to win the ball higher up on the field and uh, we have uh, you know some I thought our defense played really well I thought Harold and uh, Katana did a wonderful job and keeping the ball in our offensive half and uh, I think that goes a big way. Do you feel like the the team's style and the, the tactics that um, Michael's implementing are starting to crystallize now? Yeah absolutely you know I think that's the fun part about preseason is taking a whole game plan, shape, idea, and evolving it into something that you want, that's yours, that's uh, something successful. And I think that's something that we're, it's ever evolving, but I think that we're on the right path right now. And I think that, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of funny, you know, and he, Mike was doing it for a great job, but he said, I want you guys to get the mentality first and understand that ideas behind stuff, and then we'll fine tune those little things and have uh, positioning and uh, you know things like that and I think uh, you know we're kind of on path right now. For someone who didn't get on the score sheet but almost had two chances was Nick Lima. I know you probably watched him play against Bosnia with the U.S. Men's National Team. I'm not sure if you did but uh, how do you see his development this season? It seems like he's a much more polished player. It seems like he's uh, willing to you know especially in this system he's willing to go at it more in the box and deliver some shots on frame. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I thought he had a great January camp. I was able to uh, talk to some people who were very high on him. Uh, I was very bummed that he didn't get into that game in Bosnia. I uh, thought they should, or, but see here and there. But uh, you know, it's uh, I'm very proud of him. I think that he's continuing to grow as a player. And uh, you know, I think your second year, you it's a bit of a crossroad. You can uh, I've seen many players. You know, it's very tough. It's very challenging. Players start to understand. Guys know that Nick's quick. Guys know that you know Nick's very strong, and so he has to evolve. And uh, I think he's doing that, taking the right steps, and continuing to grow as a player. And uh, love his mentality, love his work ethic, uh, love what he brings to the locker room. And I think that his leadership is now starting to really blossom as well. And I think that's something that uh, is kind of taking over place in the January camp as well. I know this is still very early, but you, where, where do you see his, his ceiling? You know, a, a player like him, I haven't really seen in quite some time. Yeah, I mean, uh, to be honest, I think that's the fun part, especially where he is. Uh, not only age and uh, mindset, but uh, where he wants to be and his goals. I mean, I don't think there is a ceiling on him for him right now. You know, I think that he can continue, can, can continue to grow, and I think that he has that mentality. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be, uh, you know, a given, but, you know, I think that if he continues making the right steps, he can uh, do great things. Wanda, less than a month until opening day. What do you guys need to do with the rest of your preseason to make sure you're, you're ready come March 3rd? Yeah, I mean, I think that's uh, that's the main step, and that's always been what our main focus is on and uh, something that we've always had an eye on because, you know, we have to. It's, uh, or that's what we want to do. It's what we, what we came to do. And um, I think that's just continued to grow. I think that we've been able to instill the mentality that Michael wants, and now it's kind of fine-tuning the positioning, where we want to be, when we want to set our traps, in a sense, and uh, when we want to be, you know, 
whatever it is, uh, you know, offensively, if we want to be creative, uh, get out wide, crosses, things like that. I think that just these little, you know, fine tuning uh, is going to take place these last couple weeks. How does the competitiveness within this roster compare to the past years? Because it seems like you made a bunch of changes last year, particularly in the attacking slots. You know, Moraine is gone, but there's been more changes throughout the lineup. It seems like this team is, regardless of how good you appear to be, it seems like there's pretty good competition at just about every spot. Absolutely. I think that's uh, one of the main main reasons and one of the things I'm going to continue to drive us is uh, this has been one of the deepest teams I've uh, been a part of, and I think that competition uh, you know, breeds greatness. I think that you need to compete for your job. You can't be you know, content just being status quo, and I think that that's something that we've really you know, looked upon this year. And I think that, you know, again, having a whole new coaching staff, whole new eyes, there is no set, you know, there's no one that had a starting job. You have to go in and earn your starting job and earn your keep. And uh, I think that's a great thing. I think that it keeps driving people. Um, you know, I know that there's not going to be some happy guys, you know, to be honest, who are going to make the 11 because we have some world-class players, you know, deep in positions that, just we can't find a position right now. And I know it's such a long year, we're gonna need those guys throughout that year, but uh, it's a good problem to have right now. In terms of the positional work and uh, the tactics, how much of a focus has the, the high press been so far this preseason? Yeah, I mean, I think that's one of the many staples of how we wanna build. And, uh, you know, we talk about building a house in one of the many frames uh, of how this house wants to be built. And, um, you know, one of the main beams is, uh, is pressing and when to press and when to set set our our line and again I think that it's going to spur our offense. It's going to you know I think we have the talent whether it is to build out of the back to spread it open and uh, possess it. But I think that our most dangerous is when we win the ball 40 yards from goal and be able to uh, you know go from there. And I think that's something that we're going to continue to work on. Last question. Yeah, a four nothing score line, but no Chris Wondolowski in the uh, in, on the goal chart. There, it's got to be a bit unusual for uh, to see for yourself as well. Um, you know, kind of maybe elaborating on Michael's plans for the offense. You know, seeing shots coming from so many places and movement. You know, is that part of the philosophy you can bring to you guys on the attacking side? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's one of the things, and he keeps trusting me to stay in the box and uh, we'll continue to do that. Uh, I'll definitely uh, find myself on some chances. I had a couple chances today, and uh, I think while well, that's some good play, you know, I thought that like, Danny was sharp, Magnus was very sharp today, and uh, you know, you have guys like Shea and Nick to be able to uh, add some some depth on the or some width on the outside, and uh, some great crosses as well. It's a it's a dangerous combo, and uh, I certainly enjoy that.